the easiest way to defeat the wither in Minecraft. This video will explain how to defeat the wither, why you have to be careful with the wither, and the drops of the wither. If you want to skip ahead, I have included timestamps to make it easier to find parts of the video. Let's start by explaining the wither. The wither is one of the most dangerous mobs in the game. It has a health of 300 in Java and 300 to 600 depending on the difficulty in the bedrock edition. The wither will attack players or mobs nearby and will shoot explosive skulls. It is immune to fire, lava, drowning, and freezing damage. The wither is an undead mob so it is susceptible to the smite enchantment which is a sword or axe enchantment that can do 12.5 extra damage to undead mobs at level 5. Smite is incompatible with Sharpness and Bane of Arthropods. From the Wither's attack, the player can get the Wither effect that will make the health bar or hearts black and hard to see and lowers the player's health. You can cure the Wither effect by drinking a bucket of milk. The Wither is a hard mob to kill as it can fly and break blocks. In an open area, the Wither is especially unpredictable. The best way to kill the Wither is by trapping it in blocks they can't break like Bedrock, End Portal, End Portal Frame, and the End Gateway blocks. Because you can spawn the wither, you can easily trap them to make it easier to kill. How to spawn the wither. To spawn the wither, you will need 4 soul sand or soul soil and 3 wither skeleton skulls. Soul sand can be found in the soul sand valley in the nether as the biome is composed of soul sand and soul soil on the surface. Soul sand can also be found in the nether waste close to the lava ocean in 4 deep layers. The wither skeleton spawns in the nether fortress. Killing a wither skeleton has a 2.5 percent chance of dropping a wither skeleton skull. If you have a sword with looting 3, this can be increased to 5.5 percent in java and 8.5 percent in bedrock. This means you may have to find and kill a lot of wither skeletons to get enough for a wither skeleton skull as it could take 20 wither skeletons to get one wither skeleton skull. To spawn the wither you will have to place the soul sand or soul soil in a T pattern with the skulls on top. The T pattern can be either upright or on the side, the skulls can be on the top or on the side. The wither won't spawn until the last skull is placed. The wither will always spawn at the foot of the pattern. The wither will grow larger after spawning and after 10 seconds there will be a large explosion that will destroy nearby blocks and deal 99 damage to nearby mobs and players. So you want to stand clear of the wither before this explosion occurs. What does the wither drop? The only drop of the wither is the nether star and this is a guaranteed to drop. The nether star can be crafted with 4 glass and 3 obsidian to create a beacon. The beacon will give status effects like speed, jump boost, haste, regeneration, resistance, or strength. The levels of the status effect and range of the beacon depends on how many levels the pyramid underneath the beacon is. The pyramid has to be composed of mineral blocks like diamond, gold, iron, emeralds, or netherite. If you want to know more about the beacon, I'll have a card on the top right. The easiest way to kill the wither. As I said earlier in this video, the easiest way to kill the wither is by trapping them. This method will trap the wither in bedrock. This will involve using an exit portal in the end. The exit portal is the portal in the middle of the main end island that will turn into a portal once you kill the ender dragon. The bottom part of it is composed of bedrock. First you will want to dig under the exit portal. You will want a space under the exit portal to be 3 blocks tall. Looking at the bedrock of the exit portal, find the central block. This will be in the center of the exit portal. There is a 3x3 area in the middle and the block in the middle is the one you want. Place the obsidian block directly under this on the ground with 2 blocks space between it and the bedrock. Then make a T pattern laying down of obsidian blocks. Place the soul sand or soul soil on top of the obsidian blocks. Now on the side of the T pattern, place the wither skeleton skulls and move away and wait until the wither has exploded. The wither will be trapped in the bedrock and you won't take any damage if you've done this correctly. Then all you have to do is attack the wither. If you want to make it quicker, you can use a smite enchanted weapon. An axe will do more damage than a sword, but you can use any weapon. Then once you've killed the wither, you just have to pick up the nether star. Another option if you haven't gone to the end is to use the nether ceiling. The nether ceiling 
ceiling is composed of bedrock, although it is uneven. You will need to find a 3x3 space to spawn the wither. Make sure that this 3x3 area is a flat surface and use the exact same method as shown with the exit portal. The exit portal is easier to use as it is already set up for the wither. The nether ceiling may take a lot longer to find a good spot to use for killing the wither. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, might I suggest checking out my latest upload or a video about the beacon.